We're going to begin with the Claw Guy Gold Swan Royal Sterling Silver, 10 karat gold pendant with a chain. This is 459264 available for you here. And my very special guest, Graham Stock, joined Claw Guy Gold, actually has been representing the brand uh, in on-air television and shopping channel business, which is fantastic. He has extensive experience sourcing and uh, also in procurement of some of the UK's leading jewelry brands. So he knows what's out there and, and what this is all about and certainly what it means for, for Canadians who really are passionate about the line. So I know many of you have been waiting for this to return and for Graham Stock to join us here back at the studios. Hello, Graham. Hi. Good morning. Nice to see you again. You too. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, it's, it's so exciting to be here. It is. Yes, I've come all the way from London, and London at the moment is is madness oh, with the course, Olympics. The Olympics. So I've, I've got my uh, Union Jack there, like, just a like touch it. of home. So I was thinking about that when I had a red, white, and blue snowflake in the previous hour, and I thought that's very British. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> so welcome to Canada. So yes. the story of Claw Guy really dates back. Yeah, significantly. It, well, yeah, it does. I mean, it's it started off as a copper mine in 1854. Okay. Um, and then and then by mistake, by accident, they found gold glittering in in the extraction of ore. Nice. Um, by pure accident, oh. and it opened as a gold mine in sort of 1859. And uh, and and then the story goes right up to present day, and uh, unfortunately the mine is now closed. Oh. But um, we extracted a huge, uh, you know, extraction of gold, and we're using a touch of that rare Welsh gold is in every piece of clog eye jewellery. Beautiful, absolutely. The lovely. table is rattling, isn't it? Yes. Well, I see. There's this big boulder uh, on the table. There is. We're going to talk yeah, about we'll that. We'll talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll try and keep it still. Wonderful. No, that's no problem at all. So, um, also. We have uh, just a beautiful pendant here. It's one ninety nine ninety nine, with four payments of fifty dollars. This is just just lovely. It's nickel free. Um, what a style, and really, what a story. I think it's the story of the claw guy gold that is just so fascinating as well. Yeah, it is. I mean, when when um, Mr. Bartholomew, who owned the mine, he presented the crown and, and the, the king at the time, the, um, the a nugget of gold, and from that nugget, in 1923, the, the, the Queen Mother's wedding band was made, oh, okay. and then subsequently the Queen, Princess Diana, um, most of the royals, right up to present right. day, Catherine wow. Middleton's wedding band was made of pure Welsh gold. That's and great. everything we have on show today, every touch, every piece has a touch of rare Welsh gold in it. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that's just extra special. And it really, it's a connection for you also. Uh, perhaps you celebrate the heritage or uh, it's in your ancestry. Uh, and of course, Canada is all about multicultural multiculturalism, and, and it's, yeah. it gives you an opportunity also to experience other things that are new and different. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about this. This, this is collection is, is so, and, and the Swan has a royal collection, a connection as well, because um, I didn't know. I don't know if you know, but any swans found in the UK that are unmarked are owned by the the Crown and oh, therefore the Queen. And okay. uh, so uh, there's another royal connection there, and um, also around Hampton Court Palace, one of the five royal palaces, there is a whole flock of swans that live there. So it's uh, steeped in, in tra royal tradition, the swan, and I think we've captured the elegance and grace of that swan there. I think it's so just, too. Uh, it's a stylized version of the mute swan there. And just right at Beautiful. the end, on the, I was going to say the beak there, but on a swan it's the bill. Okay. On the bill is, the, is that touch of rare Welsh gold that I was I saying, see. if you can just see it on right. the date. And uh, we'll talk right about there. a two-piece casting, but while that, that's not plated, that's a second piece of gold that is fused onto the silver. Beautifully finished, front and back, with this chain, which is 18 inches in length. It's a cable link chain with a, a spring ring closure. Uh, just lovely. This is sterling silver. It's the Swan Royal, I'll have you know. Yes. Sterling silver. Yeah. It is the Royal Swan, the Royal Sterling Silver with the 10 karat rose gold pendant and the chain. That is just, oh my gosh, that's lovely. Yeah, I think they've just captured the, the grace and elegance of the swan, isn't it? Because it is a beautiful bird. <laughs> it is. But, um, and, you know, it's a, a symbol of, of love and fidelity as well, the swan, right. because, because of their, you know, their loyal nature. Okay, so Graham. And every, every piece of clog eye, if it's, a sil if it's predominantly silver, it will have a, a silver chain, a pendant, obviously, it will have mm -hmm. a silver chain and a silver icon. 
And if it's gold, it will have a, a rose gold or a pink gold icon on the back of the chain as well. Beautiful. And, um, and each piece will have um, a hallmark where, where, where it's necessary. The silver, it will have the, um, the Welsh dragon that pr just proves it has a touch of that royal Welsh gold. Wow. And a stamp of clog eye. You can't get it on, no. <laughs> and and a, a stamp of clog eye yes. um, that just says uh, this is a genuine piece of clog eye.